today I want to feature this big old chunk of cast iron, which is a big, I guess it's a, a, um, a box press, an old wooden box press that came out of Seattle back in the 20s. They used it to uh, roll the Hunt's ketchup logo in a... Let me see if I can get over here. Wooden boxes. Here's the tag, the 1921 patent tag. And then... Pretty cool. That's how the old hunt ketchup plant. Oops. Oh, it is. I anyway, see. story goes, some guys in the 60s got it and some hot rod guys and made these Ford plates for it, press plates. And the flying A. Let me see that. And the oh, Chevrolet. Hey, yeah, those are so beautiful. Those are pretty just themselves. Jewelry. Jewelry. <coughs> And it ran up, it ran up on a flat belt, which I, I'm not into mass production, obviously, very little production. So I put a hand crank on it. Anyway, I thought we'd ink it up and give it a try. It's almost so beautiful you could put it in the house, oh. but I had to put a stop to that. Okay, here we go. I'll go ahead. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty basic. This is a test run. And this ink is what? Pretty old stuff, too. Yeah, they came from probably uh, the same ketchup plant. No patent date on it. Boy, I learned one thing, though. A little bit of ink goes a long ways. All right, I guess, I don't know. It's just a test one. All right. Half-assing. My battle stations. <clears throat> Call of Duty. Here it goes, see. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, it's pretty tight. But that's alright. Oh, I'm okay, a hell of a lot oh, of arms. Right. Not too bad. Uh, yeah. I might loosen this a little bit. And so it does like an indentation kinda, right? Like Yeah, that. it countersinks it. It's pretty awesome. See the, show the. It's pretty thin. Yeah. Anyway, keep it short. Yeah. Get the gears there. Yeah. And how old do you think this is? Oh, it's got to be over 100 years old. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and we will bring you uh, more of our industrial finds. All right. Later.